Hi guys, it's Mark Zickery, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mr. Politics. And we are gonna to talk today about how you get the voting rights bill passed now that Kristen Sinema and Joe Manchin have said, no way, Jose, they don't want any of the uh, various and sundry people voting who they don't want to vote. Um, uh, so, okay. So here's my thought. Stop trying to win over Manchin and Cinema. They are Republicans in sheep's clothing. They are pretending to be Democrats, but they are mainly there as spoilers. They are there to stop the Democrats from passing anything that the powers that be, those in power, the rich people, etc., the white people don't want. And uh, so the rich white people, let us say, the powers that basically have bought them and uh, the, the coal and oil industry, etc. So stop trying to win them over. They, you can't. They're going to just stop everything from moving forward. So instead of that, now that the Republican Party is the party of fascist totalitarianism, and please, please, please study the Third Reich and Putin and all that stuff to see how totalitarian systems work. And, uh, but okay. So what you should do is reach out to the Republicans of conscience, the ones who have said the truth, which was Biden won the election, Trump tried to stage a coup. Reach out to those people and say to them, look, the Republican Party is no longer the Republican Party. We all want our country to remain a democracy. And if you come over to the Democrats, you can switch parties. We will put all of our money and backing into you as a Democratic candidate, um, a middle of the road Democrat, which is what they are now. And hopefully they would get the, the two votes they need to pass voting rights, because if we don't have voting rights, we will have an America that really most people won't want, honest to God, honest to God. You know, you want to have representative government because if you don't, then they can do whatever they want and you have no power over it. The courts have now been, the Supreme Court certainly has been destroyed and corrupted. And uh, now we have to do something different. We have to do something to get the vote guaranteed. One man, one vote. The Voting Rights Act should never have been thrown down, torn down by the Supreme Court. Never, never, never. They, particularly when they said, well, well, racism is over. No, it isn't. Not at all. Um, so that's what I suggest. Take the Republicans who are people actually of conscience and say, look, you don't, you don't want democracy thrown away. You don't want American justice thrown away. Come to our side. We'll give you $100 million. I mean, you know, if bribery is what it takes, use bribery in that form to, for their election campaigns and so forth. And, uh, and make it happen. But don't, don't, absolutely don't stop until voting rights are guaranteed because once they're gone, it is going to be an extremely ugly, ugly picture. Um, you know, I've, I've studied this stuff in great detail. And we are now in what they call the legal phase of fascism. This is where fascism is basically suborning the, the law, suborning the, the election uh, rules so that they'll win. And then once they've won, then they can assure that they'll never leave and that it'll be a fixed system from then on. Uh, you know, fight, fight this, fight this, fight this. It is, there's nothing more core, more important than voting rights. Everything else comes after that. Um, take to the streets, do what you can, do anything you can to, um, to stop evil from winning, <laughs> to stop totalitarianism from taking over America. Uh, this is the first time this has ever occurred in my lifetime and uh, I don't want to see it reach its logical conclusion. And now is the moment uh, to basically make sure that democracy prevails. Thanks guys. Talk soon.